I'm Alana Lawson with Elite Traveller TV and today I'm speaking with Brett Graham at the Ledbury Restaurant in London. Lovely to meet you Brett. Nice to meet you. Now you went from small town Aussie lad to working as the head chef in one of the most reputable restaurants in London. How did that come about? Yeah, it came about by um, work experience at school, having a couple of days in the kitchen, fell in love with the sort of process of cooking and the excitement of being in the kitchen and then after a couple of years at a very simple place in Newcastle, I then moved to Sydney to work at Bank, which was very high pressure, but it was a great experience for me. And then after I'd worked there for about two and a half years, in the year 2000, I came to London, got a job with Philip Howard at the Square, loved working at the Square, Phil was a great guy. And then he's, he asked me if I wanted to open the library, and eight and a half years later, here I am. The here we, is history. Here we are in great. 2013, yeah. Yeah. How did working at Bank Restaurant in Sydney and Scratchley's in Newcastle define your, or help define your gastronomy style? I probably hadn't really developed any sort of style at that stage, except for it gave me a grounding. Both were very busy restaurants. Both were run by people who were incredibly passionate towards not just the food, I think more so towards the customers. So that was really important time for me. A lot of people I know went straight into fine dining restaurants, and I think they missed the simple things a little bit. So what about moving from kind of that area to London? What was your greatest challenge in coming over here and working in the, at the square. Part of it was a standard of living in London compared to living in Australia. You yeah. know, it's, uh, life's just a little bit easier. Mm. And here, I faced all sorts of challenges. Trying to adjust to the speed of London, the hours, the pay, all that sort of stuff. So coming from that kind of experience, how did you feel when Phil Howard offered you kind of the opportunity to run your own restaurant? Well, I was quite surprised, I think, because I always had in my mind I was going to come to England, have a bit of fun, work hard. I was really prepared to work hard and then go back to Australia. But Phil Howard um, is an absolute gentleman and one of the nicest men I've ever met. And he, he looked after me so well when I worked at the square and treated me so well, I thought I started to think about it. We opened here a couple of years later and I wasn't really ready for it. because I was so young and so full of enthusiasm. I didn't really think about it enough. And then I, my answer was sort of almost in a couple of days, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, let's have a go. Mm. And what other chefs or restaurants um, have kind of influenced you or are influencing you at the moment? People that inspire me, uh, any chef after running a restaurant like this for, I suppose, we're eight and a half years old now. Restaurants like, like chef like Alan Passard, who's probably been on the stove for 30 years, you know, still in his restaurant. He hasn't branched out and done 10 different restaurants. He's stayed in that one restaurant. He's got beautiful gardens and he's still in his restaurant that many years on. I think that's really inspiring and someone I look up to and sort of think, you know, that's takes real, you know, real sort of determination to keep yourself focused after all those years. Other chefs, I think, you know, Rene Renzepi, I think, has made the, probably the biggest influence at the moment around the world in all different countries, very far reaching. And so I think he's a very inspirational guy. And one of my favorite chefs is a guy called Peter Gilmore from Key Restaurant in Sydney. I think he's a fabulous cook and he's probably well known, but I think he deserves to even be more well known. He's a fabulous cook, great attention to detail, beautiful ingredients and really smart guy. Um, where do you find your inspiration from your dishes? It can be quite simple. It can be maybe looking on the internet at different vegetables and the history of them. It can be walking in the countryside. It can be when I'm shooting can be when I go down and visit my butcher in Cornwall and go through his fridge and, and I might say, oh, look at that rare breed pig. What about the little muscle there behind the neck? Can we try and use that for something? And just work on developing produce. So it can come from anywhere. And if you have a night off, where do you like to go to eat? My first preference would be, if the weather's nice enough, stay at home and have some friends around for a barbecue. Something really casual, really relaxed. Um, there's lots of great restaurants in London at the moment and lots of young guys doing um, great things. One of the uh, guys used to work here called Isaac McHale. He's just opened a restaurant called The Clove Club in East London. He's doing a fabulous job, really good young cook, and so something like that. And what do you think, just to finish off, what's your favourite part of the job? Favourite part of the job is probably being able to cook what we want to cook, how we want to cook it, and, and always having those seasonal challenges with the menu. And, you know, constantly trying to exceed customers' expectations. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for speaking no with us today, Brett. Thank you.